Welcome. On behalf of Borders, we're here with author Sarah Dessen, author of Along for the Ride. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Let's talk a bit about Along for the Ride and, and what happens so that the people watching have a bit of a background on it. Well, Along for the Ride is about a girl named Auden, who, as the book begins, is just graduating from high school. And uh, she's a very studious, serious girl. Her parents are both academics, professors, and she's been raised to take school very seriously. And she's basically spent her whole high school career getting ready for her college career. Um, and so as the book begins, she's graduating, she's valedictorian, and uh, she's basically gonna spend the summer just getting ready for college in, in true Auden style, preparing for college by reading, re -re pre-reading all of the textbooks that she can get her hands on and, and studying even when no one else is studying. But she ends up going down to the beach for the summer to stay with her dad and his new wife and their little baby, thinking she'll get some bonding time with him. And it turns into sort of a summer where she is able to retrace her steps a little bit and have the kind of child, almost childish and enjoyable summer that she was never allowed to have when she was, she's always been the little adult. So it's, she gets to sort of have a do-over summer, which I think sometimes we, we would all like to have. Well, have you had a do-over summer yourself? I mean, is this semi-autobiographical? I don't know. I mean, I definitely didn't miss out on a lot of the things that in childhood like Auden did. Uh, one of the big things in the book is riding a bike um, that she never learned to ride a bike. Years ago, I remember seeing something on YouTube about people in New York City who were had never learned how to ride a bike, and so they were taking bike riding lessons in <laughs> Central Park as adults. And it was just so amazing to me to think about like how hard it would be as an adult to learn how to ride a bike as opposed to as a kid, because I, I have a toddler, and she's dangerously fearless right now. You know, she would just run right off the edge of anything. But I think as a kid, learning to ride a bike, you, you are a little bit more fearless. You don't know how much you have to be afraid of. Whereas as an adult learning to ride a bike, you're very aware of broken bones and emergency room trips and all that. So that planted the seed a little bit. Like what would it be like to kind of go back and do a lot of these things? So I didn't have that experience myself, but I was really intrigued by it. I always, I remember being in high school, I always was hoping for some great big summer of transformation um, where I would just be like, everything will change this summer and I will suddenly become the confident goddess that I am meant to be or whatever. Never happened. Um, but I love the idea of that. And I think that's why I set a lot of books in the summer. This is the first book in a while that I've done in the summer. But um, I always felt like in high school there was that potential in the summer because it seemed like classes ended and there was a freedom in that. The you next could, year is a new year. Yeah, new exactly. Year, new you. You can People go away, want. they come back, and they're taller, different. They've had some great, somebody's gone to Europe and come back looking like a totally different person. I mean, there's that potential. And, and so that, I think, setting a book in that period, um, especially a book like this that I really wanted to focus on someone changing, it seemed like the perfect melding of those two things. I really liked um, how Auden was talking about her car rides at night and how there's so much possibility when you're you know, 17 or 18 and you're just driving around because that's your first freedom, really. There is. There really is. Um, I just recently went to Relay for Life and no adult supervision. We <laughs> went to <laughs> uh -oh. at like midnight. Mom totally wouldn't have been okay with that. So. Yeah. <laughs> It was fun. But I mean, those are some of my fondest memories of when I was a teenager, you know, with a cute boy right. driving around, yeah. not all night, because my mom would have shot me, right. but you know, just <laughs> chilling in like a horrible car, you know, I went to prom with a like, 78 Pinto with no floor underneath wow. me in Northern Michigan, so in May. So. Oh, that reminds me, prom love or prom hate? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for me, um, I would have to say, Prom hate, not, yeah. well, my problem, I, I, I hate to say that because. Wait a minute, is your prom hate going to see? <laughs> I won't say that. I just right, found myself quickly backpedaling. I always felt like prom, I felt the way about prom that I do about New Year's Eve now, there's just too much hype. It's like, you're looking, everybody else is doing amazing, wonderful things, and no matter what you do, it's too much pressure. I mean, I wish that I'd sort of been able to go to the prom with no, that's what I loved about this book and the sort of the second chance prom. I always thought that that would be kind of fun to go when you're, a little bit older or some time has passed and there's just not all that pressure on you and you're not building, because with prom you're building up all year. People start talking about it in the fall. And planning, it's like the planning. pinnacle of high school. Yeah, it's like graduation. the best moments of yeah. your life. You better. Yeah. And then when it's not, you feel like it's a huge letdown. Yeah, you've already failed and you haven't even left high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> already my life is a failure and I hate that. And so I think there is the redeeming chance. You know, um, a lot of times when I go back, I've gone back to speak at my high school several times and I always say, you know, High school is not 
the be all and end all. And it, it feels when you're in high school like it is everything. But once you're out, you see that there's a lot that comes after. So not everybody has it all together in high school. I sure didn't. I was not a great student. I was completely unremarkable. I had my own problems and everything. And I think there's a lot of pressure, especially with girls these days, that you're supposed to just have it all together by the time you're 18, you know, 17, 18, you're supposed to know what you want to do with your life and where you're going to school. And you're supposed to be good at everything and look cute and be friends with everybody. And I mean, there's so, so much pressure. And so that's really where Auden came from was what if you are that kind of girl and you've sort of hit all those benchmarks and then you realize that you've missed out on a lot. So that, that's where the story came from for me.